Greetings, I'm Kathy Green with Christian News and Interviews. I'm going to share with you a story that I at first was not going to share because it's just too disgusting and sad and ugh, heart-wrenching. But I'm going to share it anyway because there are a few things I want to say about this. An Atlanta attorney, Courtney Cox, was killed by the man she dated. Okay. Absolutely stunning woman, beautiful. Somehow hooked up with a thug. Now this was not just anyone. She's a graduate of Spelman College. You don't just get into that college. That's a good one. It's an HBCU, but it's one of the top rated ones. So she graduated from Spelman College, went on to get um, her degree, uh, her law degree. And do you know how difficult it is to pass the bar? Many people fail it the first time they take it. Working for a high powered law firm, this woman had it going on. Good looks, good schools, making good money. How did this thug even enter her eyesight? I haven't gotten all the information on it that I'd like to get, but from what I've gathered, she met him in the high rise building in which she was living. So we, I don't know how she met him. I don't know why he was there. I, I'm positive he could not afford to live there. So was he a custodial worker there? As I get more information, I'll let you all know, but I'd like to know why he was even in that building for her too. She started dating him over the summer. Beautiful woman, educated, dating a bum, and I can't understand why. Atlanta attorney Courtney Cox has been identified as a woman who was shot dead by a man who jumped from, I guess he thought he was Superman or, or, or maybe he was on PCP, jumped from balcony to balcony while firing at police before turning the gun on himself. The incident happened Wednesday, October the 20th in a luxury high rise building on West Peachtree Street in uh, Midtown Atlanta. Those kind of buildings, high rises are very expensive. So she made good money. The shooter was 32 year old Jarvis Jarrett who began dating the young lawyer over the summer. Officers responded to a report of gunfire three foot. Now, let me tell you something about this report. People were out there filming this situation as, as, as opposed to Dolly 911. That tells you how sick our world has become. People were out there filming the event, but they weren't dialing. It took them a while to start dialing 911. Listen to this. The aftermath of the shooting was seen by a small crowd of spectators below who pulled out their cell phones to film rather than dial 911. Tell me this world has gone plumb crazy, y'all. This is the young lady. This is a uh, picture that one of her former um, instructor, instructors posted where she said, and I'm going to quote, a former student of mine from Spelman was murdered yesterday. Courtney Cox was a lovely human being who was deeply loved by her family and friends. She deserves so much better. Here she is with her classmates in an epic history research trip to New Orleans. You know what, I'm gonna keep you all posted. This is absolutely horrible, but before I go to church, I just wanted to post this right quick before I leave. Um, black women, you owe no one anything. You owe no explanations. You owe no one um, loyalty. You owe no one anyone, anything. Let me tell you something, Black women I'm talking to right now. And if it applies to any other women, I'm talking to you too. Stop dating thugs. Stop giving thugs your phone number. 
Stop making eye contact with thugs. I don't care how good the thug looks. Do you know how expensive it is to go to law school? This woman had a law school degree. How did a thug get her phone number? He got into a fight with the police with a rifle. How did he end up in her apartment uh, with a rifle in his hand? See, there are more questions than there are answers. Black women, if the best you can do within the black community is somehow a thug, I'm going to give you some advice. And black men listening may want to uh, defriend me after this. I don't know. I don't care. But I'm going to give black women listening some advice. If you can't find a decent man within your own community, step outside of your community and date a man of another race. Life goes by fast. Spend it with a decent man, and I don't care what race he is. I'm not saying that there are no black men who are decent. I'm married to a black man who's decent, who's educated, who's kind. So don't get me wrong. What I am saying is you don't owe black men anything. You owe black men nothing. So if you can't find a black man who's decent and upright and educated and kind, then you are free to step outside of your race and date whoever you so please. And if the people listening to this don't like it, tough. You can, you can unfriend me. I don't care because the truth sometimes hurts. Stop it, Black women. Stop being so loyal to a group of people who as soon as they become rich or famous or get that... Uh, uh, forty million dollar a year basketball uh, offer or football offer, they go and find somebody who's not black anyway. They're not loyal to you. So you stop being so loyal. You had this. This young lady had no business with a thug, and my heart just bleeds for her family. As I get more information, I'm going to follow this disgusting story. But in the meantime, Black women, did you hear me? I said, stop it. Stop being so ridiculously loyal. And stop basing your future husband on race. Period.